Hello and welcome to this short screencast that's going to walk you through several steps of creating and using an Excel scatter plot like you are going to use in Concept Test 8. Uh, so here we start with some data. I've just entered these in by hand and uh, a lot of the things that you're going to be asked to do in Concept Test 8 and really anytime you use an Excel graph can be done automatically if you just set the data up right. So here I have my data. This is a, uh, some data that's collected for that shows the birth year of a uh, of a person and their life expectancy based on the year in which they were born. So this is a, a function where the independent variable is the birth year and the life expectancy is the dependent variable. So life expectancy depends on birth year. Now notice I've just entered these in by hand. There's no formulas involved here. Uh, notice I have put birth year and life expectancy as, as, as the uh, headers in these columns. And that's important because uh, the Excel will um, automatically label your graph based on what's in the headers of these columns. So I'm going to set the columns with uh, the description here and here and then the data underneath. Now first of all let's plot a scatter plot of these things and I'm just going to grab, uh, go up to the top cell here, click and drag so I highlight all the data including the headers, including these guys up here. Now to create a scatter plot I'm going to go to insert, chart, and then it will give me several options for these things. The one that I want is XY scatter. I should also mention that I'm doing this with Excel on a Mac. Um, it'll look a little bit different if you're using it on a PC, but these options will all be there in some form or another uh, visible to you. So I'm going to click on XY scatter. And this will bring up a little menu of uh, options of what I want my scatter plot to look like. Now in this case, what I'd like to do is plot the data not as points, but as points with a smooth curve that connects them. And I'd like to be able to see both the points and the curve. That's what this option is for, smooth marked scatter. So I'm just going to click on this and Excel will automatically create the plot, as you can see down here. I'll get that nice and centered if possible. So uh, notice uh, that it used the, uh, the header that I put in in the top of the second column to give me a title and a legend over here. The legend here is, uh, if you had more than one uh, graph here in this uh, same set of axes, the legend would tell you which graph you're using. So that's the legend. Uh, it's life expectancy is a good way to label that, and this is a good title for it, although I can change that title later if I wanted to. There we created the scatter plot with a smooth curve. Now we're going to change a few things here to make this look a little bit better. Uh, one thing I would like to do, and unfortunately I can't do this here in the screencast, is, is uh, label the axes. You notice if these axes are visible, but they're not labeled. Uh, if I wanted to put, say, year here and life expectancy over here, uh, that's a process that looks very different on a Mac than it does on a PC. So I'm going to be showing you how to do those uh, separately, individually, maybe in class. So we're going to skip the axis labeling for now. Uh, one thing I would like to do, however, is maybe change the scale on the y-axis. I noticed that um, most of the action here, as far as life expectancy goes, the dependent variable uh, outputs, are between 40 and 80. Uh, there's nothing below 40, so I would like to change the axes so that the y-axis, the dependent variable axis, starts at 40 rather than at 0. And the way I can do that is to click on the uh, axis itself right here. Let's see if I click right on the axis, the the, this vertical rectangle here uh, uh, lights up, so that's the axis. Now that I have that highlighted by, by clicking on it, I'm going to right click on it and I get this little context menu and one of the things that uh, comes up here, excuse me, if I click and then right click, is format axis. You have to right click exactly on the axis to get that to show up. Okay, You have to be a little accurate with this. So format axis and this is going to bring up a menu here with a lot of things on it, most of which I don't really care about, but scale right here I do care about. I'm going to click on scale, and this will give me some options for, uh, for where to start my uh, vertical axis. I'd like to start it, like I said, at 40. And I can change some other things too, but uh, I'm just going to change the minimum to 40 here. Click OK, and you can see that the, uh, the axes have now changed, so the minimum is 40. So you get a little bit better to look at it. So I've changed the scale. I have, I have the title on here. Um, I can format the chart title to make it look differently, uh, change the uh, angle that it appears at, change the font. Um, if I wanted to change the actual title of the graph, I can't just double click on it. Uh, well, actually, I can just double click on this and I could put uh, like versus birth year. So I can just edit that text box directly if I want to change the title, just like you would anywhere else. The legend, I can do the same thing by uh, clicking on here. The legend is going to be tied to whatever you put in this uh, cell. 
Uh, so we're going to leave the legend the way that it is because it's a pretty decent uh, description of what this graph is. So I've done everything except the axis labeling, which again I will show you how to do individually. Uh, I've plotted the data in a scatter plot, connected them with a smooth curve, changed the title, uh, arranged the scaling on the axes to be a little bit more appropriate. The one last thing I want to do is export this uh, graph as a picture and insert it into a uh, Microsoft Word document. And this can work for any uh, uh, word processor you choose. I'm just going to right click on the graph and there's one of the options that comes up is save as picture. Okay, so I'm going to save as picture and uh, I'm just going to put this on my desktop for now. Uh, that is over here. And uh, give it a title so I can just type life expectancy versus birth year, for example. And this is going to save it. I have several formats to choose from PNG, JPEG, even a PDF if I want to. Let's choose the default of PNG. And I click and save it to my desktop. And uh, if you look very carefully down here, there it is. And I have Word uh, set up and ready to go here and just have some text in here. I can fill the text. I have to learn how to spell the word text. And then just wherever I want to put my graph, say I want to put it in between those two lines here, to insert this uh, picture, I'm just going to go to Insert on the Word menu, Insert Picture from File. And then it's going to give me a, a file chooser, and it's on desktop, and there's my file that I had, and it gives me a little preview, and I'll insert it. And there it is. And once it's inserted, I can rescale it, I can rotate it, I can do all kinds of things with this, just like any other graphics file. If you're using another word processor, there's going to be some similar functionality. You're just going to be inserting a graphic. So there we have it. We started with data, we've labeled the columns uh, correctly, and Excel will auto generate the scatter plot. We can connect with a smooth curve, get a legend, change the title, uh, adjust the scaling, export it to a graphics object, and then import it into a Word document. So if you have any other questions about this, and again, you'll learn about uh, access labeling separately, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me by email or in person. Good luck with all this.